Hey y'all, it's Mama TPG with One Love, One Light Tarot. Welcome to your daily blind spot. Let's see what spirit has for us. Let's see what are we not seeing clearly? What are we not even considering? What do we not even realize that we're overlooking? That's what I'm getting before the cards even come out. Alright, so what is the daily blind spot for the collective spirit? And we have number 10. I feel like, and I've said this several times this week and it hasn't been quite right, but I feel like we're not able to see things clearly because of external chaos. So we're allowing that to infiltrate. Oh, there's a glare here. There we go. Nope, that's not going to work. Uh, let's see here. So I have a fan that's blowing this way, so. All right, so let's see what it actually means. Number 10. Denial. If you have drawn this sigil, you are currently in denial in this situation. The question is, what are you avoiding admitting to or accepting? Denial is refusing to accept or admit to the truth of the reality of something unpleasant. An example of this is a person who has been left by their spouse and who continues to think and speak and act as if they are just on vacation. When we can't deal with, change, or eliminate something painful in order to avoid despair, sorry, I'm trying to get a little fly, um, we simply deny whatever is painful. But it is a powerfully unconscious state of being because to slip into denial, a person has to stop seeing, feeling, and hearing any proof to contradict it. At some level, they have to go into a bubble so as not to be reached by the proof of the world. If you have drawn this sigil, take a look at the situation and ask yourself, what am I unwilling to accept about this situation? Why am I unwilling to accept that? If I accepted that, what would it mean or what bad thing would happen? I feel like this is a really good opportunity to use this as a um, journal prompt just because um, it could be more than one thing. It could be a series of things when put together really shows you a clear picture and you're not, you're purposely not seeing that. So let's see what the story is here for the collective. Spirit, what is the story here regarding denial? And we have the lovers. So this is, I feel like this is about a partnership. It could be definitely about love and romance. I dropped a bunch of cards. I think I got them all. All right. Along with a little bit of dog hair. Yay. <laughs> it's one of those kind of days. All right. So what's the challenge here for... Here, let me get this where you can see it a little better. What is the challenge here for the collective in regard to denial? And we have seven of swords. So... There may be some deception going on within this relationship. And deep down, you know, and you are purposely blocking, you know, the proof of that, in a sense. Um, and really, this ends up coming out as like a lot of conflict because basically you're, you're fighting to maintain a certain view of your partner. Um, this isn't for everybody, but this is just what I'm getting. And it could be, it doesn't have to be a partner. It could be just a family connection, work connection, whatever it is that is definitely a divine connection. Um, but let's see here. What is the advice from spirit? And we have the two of wands. So this is really about assessing what is aligning with you and what is not 
in order to move forward on a positive aligned path, right? Okay, so, and seeing things clearly. So I feel like this is about being able to see up ahead a much more clearly and making much more informed decisions about your life if you allow yourself to see what's really going on here. All right, so what is the outcome for the collective? And we have the King of Pentacles. So this could be Gemini, Earth sign, doesn't have to be, these are just energies. But I feel like um, what Spirit is saying is that this, this denial is blocking you from you know, being that master manifester. And so I feel like, um, let's get a little bit of clarity here. Let's see. And this is a 10. So I feel like this is a cycle that's ending or is pending completion because of this denial. So let's see. What is the six of what are not six of cups? What am I about to say? What is this lover's card? What really, what is this type of relationship for the collective? Eight of challenges. So, yeah, I mean, so it could be your own deception. Um, but I really feel like this is something that you're purposely, um, creating this illusion for yourself and within this relationship. So it's not really clarifying here. I feel like it's more clarifying the denial than anything. Okay, so why is the Seven of Swords here? What is this betrayal or deception or strategy, manipulation? What is this? And we have the Seeker of Spells, which is the Queen of Wands. So this could be in regard to a fire sign that that is... Um, you know, maybe you're dealing with a fire sign, your partner is a fire sign, or you are a fire sign. So take it how it resonates. If you are the one that is creating this deception, then how are you moving forward? How is denial playing a part in this? Like, um, I feel like um, it could be something where you are feeling betrayed, and yet you could be the one doing the betraying as well. So, you know, they, they always say like, um, in, within relationships, especially with like players and stuff, they're very jealous and accusatory. It's because that's, you know, what they know what they're doing. So then in order to make themselves feel better, they assume you're doing the same or they project that. But that's just for a few of you. I don't know how this applies to each of you individually. Whatever the case, it's preventing you from walking forward with integrity, confidence, um, and your true beauty. It's like you can't be yourself. So whatever the case is here. Okay, and we have the two of boons which is the two of pentacles clarifying the two of wands. So I feel like there's choices, there's clear choices that you can make in this situation. And it's, you know, it's about, you know, um, stop playing around with the choices and do what is, um, really aligns with your path. You know, what is your true priority? Where do you want to put your energy? Focus on that and allow yourself to operate with integrity and truth um, in the sense that, you know, relinquishing this denial because it's not serving anybody when we operate out of illusion, right? Okay, so why is this King of Pentacles here? And we have the Black Shuck, which is the Death card. So, I feel like there's an ending here to, there could be denial about an earth sign, and I feel like that's what's ending here, okay? There's got to be an end to this, and it could be delaying the ending of a relationship, it really could. It could be when you operate in denial, 
that this is dragging this out. I mean, I almost feel like the death card is in reverse and it's like, you know, it's something like kill it already. <laughs> But I'm not trying to be insensitive. I feel that's the energy that I feel like this isn't serving anybody to, you know, operate out of illusion or denial. Okay. So let's get one of these spirit guide messages to close this out. I'm working on a new, a uh, new series, if you will. Um, the enchanted path i did it once before for all signs and that's what i'm starting today is your enchanted path so please check that out for your sign as they um, become available on my channel and we have hello from heaven and it says your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them they know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time. So there can, you know, when you're caught up in this, you know, illusion, you may not be seeing all the support that you're getting around you. And this, you know, denial could be from, you know, really out of fear and survival. And I feel like spirit is saying, you know, that your spirit team is there with you and they understand that it can be scary to face things head on. All right, so those are the messages that came through for the collective today. Like I said, check out the Enchanted Path uh, for your particular sign as they become available on my channel. I'm just starting um, them today and I'm going to start with Earth Signs Virgo. All right, so that is the message. Thank you so much for watching. You know I appreciate it. And remember that the universe has your back and so do I. Take care.